Hello, everybody. Uh, we're getting everything ready here, so we're about a minute ahead of time or so. It looks like we're clicking on pretty quick. We're going to give just a few more seconds here for everybody to, to chime in here. We had quite a few people that were signed up for this, over 100. So we're going to give it just a few more seconds. Uh, in uh, respect for everybody's time, though, we are going to get started here fairly quickly. I'm sure that we've got, uh, we're, we're clicking in a bunch of people. So we're, we're flying a little bit shorthanded today. Our producer that usually sits behind here, uh, Jason Ferguson, um, is a little under the weather today. And so I've got Luke Hockaday, who is usually my sidekick here. He's manning the controls, and that is so important that uh, I'm going to let him just sit there and concentrate on those controls. And we're going to take off of this webinar here in just a few short seconds. So hang on if you would. In your chat, I just want to remind everybody, send your questions through the chat. Again. Um, uh, Luke's going to be manning that, and we'll forward those, or we will answer those as we're going along here. So I hope everybody's having a great summer so far. I know AHIP, I'm talking to about maybe a third of the brokers out there that have taken care of the AHIP so far. Uh, I hope you're one of them. hope you got it done. I'm not this weekend, so <laughs> we're going to get this taken care of where we can start getting all the certifications locked down. It's always an interesting time of year to... Uh, to listen to the brokers talk about AHIP and some of the pluses and the minuses. So we hope everybody's having a good time out there with it. So I think we're about ready to get going here, Luke. I don't know who's all yeah. showing up, but I'm really curious to take care of everybody's time here. Um, we've got a lot, of, a, a, a lot of stuff to cover. If we can go to that next slide there, Luke. We're going to, again, Luke and I, no, let's go down one. We'll stay right there. Uh, what we're doing here basically is Luke and I have gone through some of these training videos that we've been doing now since about February, and we were collectively just trying to come up with some quick tips that you could utilize to help you get out of the gates as best you can. I, I am not computer savvy, but I really enjoy Medicare Center. I don't have to deal with it on a day-to-day -day basis, but the people that I talk to deal with this thing on a very regular basis that off season allows them to. The people that I've talked to that have utilized this process during AEP have had some remarkable responses. And while not everybody is going to enjoy the remarkable responses, I think we can all utilize this tool to help make ourselves more productive, to help make our staff more productive, to help actually increase the revenue. And that is, as we work with our brokers as a, as a national marketer in some areas, of FMO in some areas, this is what we're training to do is how do we make your time more valuable? How do we make more money for you? Um, and so this is, this is kind of a synopsis of what we've been doing. So Luke, if you would spin on down to the next one here. And, and basically just what is Medicare Center? We think Medicare Center is a very powerful enrollment tool. Again, the brokers that I've talked to, even utilizing it ourselves, we have seen the positive responses, the positive feedback from, from having this available where we've got one sign on where we can have all of our products available at a, at a, at a, very, at a very single spot. Open that browser, leave it open all day long. It includes a, a, a client retention manager, a CRM tool. Uh, the CRM tool is getting better all the time. We can text scopes of appointments. And I think that is singularly going to be one of the most valuable pieces in the entire equation. And it's also a quoting tool. Again, it's a single sign-on. And one of the best pieces about this entire process is that it's free. Just because we're an integrity partner, integrity has made a tremendous investment in trying to make ourselves uh, the FMO to go to when it comes to marketing your particular products. You can see by that quote down there, this young man is in Nashville, Tennessee. He's got a, a very going on business. I mean, he can, he can crank it out and he takes this CRM tool, this Medicare center, and it has actually created a much more efficient arena for him to operate in. When we talk to him about some of the positive effects of this, it's unbelievable some of the comments that he's making to us utilize this very same thing. We're going to be going through some of these items that Medicare Center can mean to you to help make you more efficient. 
Okay, this is like our Pepsi and our Coke. If you go back to the webinar that we did, it's got both Medicare Link and Medicare App. It's like Pepsi versus Coke. Some people like Coke, some people like Pepsi. Some people are going to like Medicare Link, some people are going to like Medicare App. That does not mean you have to choose one over the other. Both of them have their strengths, and probably both of them have their weaknesses. You're going to wish one did what the other one did. My point is, that you get the choice between two world-class platforms to sell your business with, Medicare Link, Medicare App. One is powered by Connecture, one is powered by Sunfire, two leaders in the platform design business that we've hooked up with to create a tool that you can put in front of yourselves here. Both of them can do a lot of searching for client doctors, signing scopes, apps, texts, emails, the whole process can be handled through both of these application processes right here. Again, just a reminder, if you have any specific questions, pop them up here. Luke is gonna filter these and get them back and we can try to answer as much as we can. Okay, on to the next one. Use the quoting tool. Medicare Center also includes the CSG quoting tool. You can use the one on the New Horizons marketing website or you can use this quoting tool. It's the same quoting technology, just different ways to access that very same technology. So again, use New Horizons, use Medicare Center. Both of them have, a, have very compatible quoting tools. And um, so let's move on to the next one if we could there. Fill out as much client information as possible. I think we've got a couple of very, very big hitters when it comes to production. When you take a look at the information that these brokers have on their clients, it's extensive. They know that where the 401k money is. They know when these people are going to retire. Um, they, they talk about the banks being not paying any interest rate. They talk about the, the stock market being risky. All of this is meant to create more talking points to cross sell to these clients throughout the course of the year. Again, freeing up time during AEP that you may even be able to dedicate some time during AEP, but filling out as much information as you can in this particular part of the Medicare Center is valuable as you go throughout the course of the year. Um, you can do as little as writing their name and email, and that will populate throughout the entire system to send and to send quotes, to send emails, um, to communicate back and forth. You can do as little as that. But our advice would be put as much information as you can there. I would come up with a covered needs analysis where you have the same kind of questions that you would ask everybody. You know, find out if, they, if cancer runs in their family. They could be a perfect client for a cancer policy. You might want to talk to them about a hospital indemnity plan. You might want to talk to them about final expense. These are all different areas that you can populate inside this part of the tool that can help remind you throughout the course of the year as you pull this information back up. You never know that one time that you mention it that triggers an additional sale, which can mean obviously more money. So again, fill out as much client information as possible. We see these very successful agents populate that with all kinds of information about their client. You know, when are you planning to retire? What do you plan on doing with your 401k? Do you have a cancer plan? All these questions help trigger different sales throughout the course of the year. Excellent. Yep. And this goes to tip number four, which it, it's my favorite tip because prepare your office for more business. We're sitting here right now, a couple of months in front of AEP. We should right now begin thinking about the processes that we're going to put in play to make ourselves more efficient. If we have this tool and do the same stuff that we did last year and the year before, we're going to get the same results. So let's prepare our offices for more business. I watched Luke, who's sitting right here behind the scenes here a little bit, and, our, and his assistant, Sarah, these two work in tandem day in and day out. We even have a broker that has three people like Sarah that he keeps busy on a very regular basis. He brings them in, he takes care of the business, 
He sends them out to these assistants to get the rest of the application taken care of, whether it's on the phone or in person. And he is right there for the next client to come walking in. This makes for a very efficient, a very efficient work office. Um, we set appointments about every 30 minutes doing this. I don't necessarily know that I would go 30 minutes if this is your first crack at it. Take 45 minutes. But you begin to see the process that's going to fit inside your world. I'd make sure that your staff is very familiar with Medicare Center. When I speak to these brokers out there about Medicare Center who are utilizing these systems in place, their staff knows more about Medicare Center than they do. And that's fabulous. And that's the way it's supposed to be. We can all catch up. But again, the system is designed to be efficient and to keep you going. Just like what I talked about, consider a two-part process. One staff member gathers client information. The other can finish the enrollment. When, you, when I watch Luke and Sarah work hand in hand together like this, it is a well-oiled machine. And also what this does is also frees up some time. So this AEP, we might want to take a dedicated day, take four days to work the PDP side if we've got a lot of PDP business, and take one day to cross-sell. You know, maybe set up that appointment with that person that's sitting in front of you with a PDP and sell the cancer plan. Talk about the final expense. Talk about the annuity. And these are ways that we can be more productive for you to be more productive in your own business. Consider dedicating either part of the day or taking one day to cross-sell. I hear more brokers at the end of AEP tell me, I wish I had more time to cross-sell. And this is the exact tool that you can utilize to bring that to fruition. Either create it every day or create one day a week. Doesn't have to be the same day, but create one day a week that you dedicate to cross-selling. And let's not lose another AEP to taking care of just the PDP business. So that, that, that is a, I think it's a very, this is the most important tip that we've got right here is to prepare your office for more business. Just to piggyback on that, Steve, I hope everybody can hear me. If you can't, put it in the chat, but uh, kind of along the same lines, uh, you know, a lot of our top agents mm -hmm. are, are actually sending out AEP letters now, end of July or in August is when those letters come out so we can get the information back to plug into Medicare Center so that we're ready and, and during AEP can be as smooth as process as possible. And, and uh, I forget what tip it was, tip three or two or three, but just filling out that, that profile for your client. So, um, you know, whether, whether it be their medicine list or, or whatever it is that, that we need to be able to fill out applications, the more things we can have in this system the better and the faster we can move uh, come AEP. Michael, one of our, I'm not going to mention his last name, but Michael in our office is a hugely successful agent on the independent, but so is Luke. But when you take a look at the information that these brokers, that these two young men are bringing in off their current clients, it is unbelievable what they know about their clients when things are due, where the money's at, um, what runs inside their family. So again, not run through that appointment. Let's gather as much credible information as we can possibly. Have a, have a script, have a CNA that you create for yourself. Find out when that CD comes due. Know where the 401k is at. Um, ask them about their future plans. They'll tell you. It's, it's, it's a great opportunity to really come to know who that client is and how you can be of service to them to get to their goals in life. Tip number five is we would strongly encourage you to do a texting scope of appointment, even if your client is in the office. And I'm going to tell you to go straight to the third bullet point. It automatically gets stored in Medicare Center for life. Listen, you got everybody is really good when it comes at audit time. I have to make phone calls to audit the scopes of appointment. But again, when you talk about the ability to utilize a system that is streamlined, easy, and again, it automatically stores your, SO, your scopes of appointment for life, that should be enough right there. Most senior citizens have smartphones. It, it's so much faster than the paper or the email system. It's, it's, it can be done within five minutes. I think Luke and I, on the webinar that we did this on, we did one in three minutes. And so again, you're dealing with, with at least one neophyte when it comes to all the texting and stuff. And I watched it go step by step and it looked seamless. It was easy to do. 
So consider doing a scope, even if you're in person, for that third bullet point alone. Use blue button to import the drug list. Again, this is something built into the Medicare app. Uh, it's not on Medicare link, but it's in the Medicare app. It's just an additional piece of the tool that allows you to import the Medicare.gov drug list that has been compiled on your client to help you from downloading all the different drugs. You can, you can download the different drugs if, you, if they're doing a couple, but if they've got a laundry list of drugs, you may want to consider using the blue button to import these drug lists. There is a full tutorial on our website. We're going to go to how you access that here towards the end. But again, it's just a real seamless way that you can take an arduous task when it comes to auto-filling a uh, drug list to simply importing that information off medicare.gov. Time saver. It's a time saver. Luke, you can chime in anytime here. You can use tip number seven is you can send plan quotes. In other words, a lot of brokers have been telling me about they're infatuated by working over the telephone. And, and I do think that the entire system is going that direction where it's going to become less and less of a face-to-face -face environment that we're working in. By sending a quote to a client, that client can complete their own enrollment online. You can send them the quote. They can, they can, they can access it right there online. That link will include your agent ID that will ensure the fact that you will get credit for any enrollment that they do based on that plan quote that you sent them. So again, easy, seamless. They can utilize this on their smartphone. They can utilize this on the computer. Uh, just a, it, it just is a very easy way to conduct that face-to-face -face interview over the telephone. Steve, I think we had a, a couple questions sure. here that sure. I get to. Sure. Um, uh, looks like Carrie asked, do you have a sample letter letter that you send out now? So I think that is uh, referring to the, the letter we sent out in AP. You know, I think that uh, what we can do is, uh, is uh, get a copy of just what we sent out uh, personally. I, I don't have any problem with that. Uh, what we sent out last year, and, and we got great response for, got uh, a ton of great feedback back and, and was able to really cut down our time. But uh, I'll have Rebecca uh, look that up, and, and whenever we send out the copy of this recording, uh, hopefully we can we can attach that. Okay, so folks, we expect that. Not only are you going to get a, if you're sitting in on this webinar, you're going to get a copy of this recording. You're also going to get a copy of the letter that Luke sends out prior to AEP. So thank you, Luke. That's that's very generous. And and feel free, guys, to you know to uh, add to it. And um, um, only. Trial and error method. It's I, I attach a picture of myself and family. So you might want to, well, you might want to use that too. I, I have some pretty cute kids. So uh, that, that does help. On to tip number eight. It is time right now to start reviewing your contracts. Where are we at with all the different, I, I know that we saw some expansion by some of the carriers out there. Um, just make sure that you're on that you're on cue with what you need to be contracted with. Go to CSG, find out the different players that are in your area, um, type in your own zip code, uh, find out what's there, um, ask questions. You know what's selling in the area. We can help you with any of the numbers that you need to by county. What's selling? What's working? What's not working? And um, and just make sure that your contracts are in place. Only the carriers that you have contracted with via an integrity partner is ever going to appear on Medicare Center. I would, it's just a strong encouragement for you to have all your business through one of our carriers, through one of our partners. And again, not that New Horizons has to have all your business, but again, to make this tool what it is and what it could mean to you, it would be important to have most, if not all of your business through an integrity partner. I mean, we've got a lot of great partners out there. And also, another thing, uh, when you're looking at your contracts and looking at all the carriers, uh, make sure to check both Medicare app as well as Medicare link, because uh, all carriers aren't on both and, and, and vice versa. So uh, make sure, you know, we find out where uh, and, and what in your areas that you're selling are the most competitive. And, uh, and hopefully, and, and most of the time, they will be on at least one of those platforms. Okay. And again, don't be afraid to use both of them. I, I talked to in fact, I've not run into one broker that says that they only use one of the two um, processes, applications. 
They use both of them for crying out loud. And I think that's a smart way to go about it. So a great time to review your contracts now. Uh, tip number nine is you can send a personal URL to prospects. And what this is basically is you're going to send a, um, a, 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 a pearl, what they call a pearl. It's a, it's a link that allows your client to view all the different options. And if they select one of the options, they can fill it out right there without you being around. And again, this, this makes it, ensures the fact that you're gonna get credit for it. So before we were sending quotes that you might've talked about, and again, if they click on one of those and enroll, you're gonna get credit. This is if they wanna sit there and shop a marketplace. They say, Luke, you know what? Uh, send me the list of what's available. Okay, well, here it is. You can send them a personal URL to everything that's available to them. If they select one of those plans, you're gonna get credit for it. So there's two different methods there to make sure that you can send something out of your office digitally, yet get credit for it and paid for it like you should be. So great tool, great piece of the tool. Check out the Learning Center. If you go to Medicare Center, towards the bottom, you're gonna see a Learning Center page. And right there, it's got all kinds of tech guides, it's got um, scripts, it's got sales tips, best practice guides, all kinds of different little ideas and snippets that you can take advantage of just to make it more efficient. How is it working best? How, and and what can you implement in your world to make this tool all that it can be? Russell, so, Russell just asked, um, can we transfer contracts? If we're already contracted with some of the other carriers, you're more than at this point in time. I can say it's almost impossible to do anything without a release. It's going to require a release. Some brokers are a little bit more finicky this time of year about giving releases. With a release, we can literally do anything. If we have to be mindful, if the if the if the FMO or the person that you're contracted with selects not to give you a release. There are some time frames that are going to stretch us into a point where you're, you're going to be working for them for this year, and we won't be able to make any movement uh, on your behalf until a, next year. So uh, if you can get a release, that's how we're going to be able to pull it off now, Russell. But uh, that would be about the only case right now at this point. At this point. So, And, and here's the tip that, that uh, we put together here towards the very end. It's reference past trainings. I, I failed to count, but I know that there's at least two dozen, maybe close to 30 webinar trainings that Luke and I have done, or Luke and his dad have done. And to access these past Medicare webinar recordings on our website, you can click on Medicare Center at the top of our website to only see Medicare Center recordings, or you can visit webinar calendar under blogs and resources to view all the past webinar recordings. So either way you want to go about it, if you just want Medicare Center, there's a way to get to those. And if you want to look at all the trainings that we've done, uh, we've got some very good ones on some final expense and some other um, some annuities and pieces. Um, I would encourage you to visit all of the recordings because we've got some pretty good ideas out there. So that's, I think, in a nutshell, and we're looking for questions. I know I saw a couple of them, Luke. Did we ask and answer a few you of I think we did. I think we're all caught up. Uh, uh, does anybody else have any any further questions for Steve-O? And Luke? <laughs> <laughs> well, listen, folks. Again, I see one popping in here. We're going to get to it. Um, but what we would like to just reiterate, again, this is a work in progress. Medicare Center is a tool that's new to us. The more we use it, the more good things we see. When I talk to brokers out there that have successfully navigated this, it's the same formula. The more they use it, the more they get out of it. And tip number four, if I could encourage you to, to do anything, is to prepare your office now for more business ahead. Like Luke says, sending out the letters, putting ideas in some of your clients' heads that you know are going to be sitting down in front of you. Maybe dedicate some time every day to cross-sell. Maybe dedicate an entire day to cross-sell. But again, these are just ways that we can make you a little bit better based on what we can put in front of you. Uh, Carrie asks, well, first, um, thank you guys for the, the thank you. Uh, you guys are too all very kind. We really appreciate it. But Carrie asks, can the Medicare app or Medicare link have an option to sign scopes? If 
by signing on your screen or is it just by text and email? There's not a signing on the screen uh, available, but it is, Luke, can you remember how we did this texting? The, the texting was so simple. Yeah, texting uh, is, is, is kind of the way that I personally use it. I know a lot, of, that's what a lot of agents use. Um, you know, if you've got somebody and you're sitting eyeball to eyeball with, and, and uh, if for some reason they don't have a smartphone, they don't have email or something like that, uh, you can always, on Medicare Center, there will be a generic scope that you can just print off and just get a wet signature. So, uh, you know, that's that's always an option and, and make sure we store that and, and you can send it into the carrier as well. Uh, There's, there was also an option to print the scope yep. that is sent back yep. and forth by text. So right. if, you're, if you're interested in making sure that you have a copy for your personal records, you can do this by email or text, and you can print a copy of that as well. Yep. So, and it'll store right there in, in your CRM. Again, so, yeah. I like the storage aspect of it. Um, not that I'm a, a messy person, but you know, if somebody six years from now asks me for a scope that I wrote last year, I'd start sweating a little bit. I really <laughs> would because I'm getting, I know I've got it, but where do I keep those records from six years ago? When I go to the tools that I've got right now, it's real simple. So. Uh, Ar Arlene asked, what is the app for Medicare Center? Um, so I think, uh, I, I think what you're referring to, Arlene, is, is Medicare app. And uh, so that's just one function of Medicare Center. So we have two choices. Again, uh, Medicare app is one and Medicare link is the other. Uh, but they're all incorporated under Medicare Center, just two different ways. But it, I know that's that's probably confusing, Arlene, but it's not technically an app. Yeah, it's actually, yeah, it's in fact, you'll have three choices right there in the, at the beginning. You'll have both Medicare link, Medicare app, and then there's a Medicare supplement button. And if you want to choose a Medicare supplement uh, quote, you can do that as well and do some comparisons on that on that front. So it's all right there. You click on one of them. It's not an app that you download on your phone. It's just something you're going to do right there at your computer screen. Well, I it sounds like we got a lot of interest in this uh, the AEP letter. Uh, right. So uh, you know, I will uh, I'll make sure that that's okay with Becca, and, and uh, we should have everybody's email uh, that uh, that Absolutely. enrolled in this webinar exactly. that, that we can get that exactly. sent out to you guys. But uh, if you guys have any other questions, let us know. Feel free to reach out to us. Both Luke and I are here for you. You guys, you're the reason we're in business and we want to be here and serve you as best we possibly can. Anything you want to ask, please feel free. Thanks again for everything, folks. And we'll send you, we'll see you the next time we, we get together. Thank you. Thanks, folks.